Hi, welcome back guys to another episode of The Young and Restless. We start off with Phyllis informing Ashley that Diane is back in town. She tells her that Summer and Jack are a sucker when it comes to Diane and her schemes. We go over to the Abbott house. We see Jack is concerned that Diane pulling a stunt on Jeremy will cause issues. However, she plans to trick Jeremy. Jack insists that Diane stays at the Abbott house. However, Diane wants to stay at the hotel to convince Jeremy. We see Ashley and Phyllis back at society, concerned that everyone is now all in danger because of Diane's schemes and plans. Ashley makes it clear to Phyllis that she does not fall for Jack and her bl- and his blame games because none of this would have happened without Diane doing what she did in LA. We then see Summer interrupts them and wants to talk to Phyllis. However, Phyllis is pretty upset with his, her daughter and doesn't want to speak to her. However, Ashley then said that she is she would leave. Phyllis said she is not interested. We see at Devon's place, Abby and Devon are waiting on Tucker to have a play date and with Dominic. Abby then starts drilling Tucker about his business life and current life. Meanwhile, Devon is upstairs putting the baby to bed. Tucker says Abby has every right to not trust him. However, Tucker insists However, Tucker insists that he has changed. Back at society, Ashley then decides to leave and allow Summer to talk to Phyllis. Phyllis expressed that she is devastated by the actions of Summer. Summer tries to apologize and says that she's trying to keep her family safe, somewhat leaving Phyllis out of the picture. Phyllis gets angry and cries and expresses that she doesn't receive any protection from Summer anymore. Summer does not consider her family. Phyllis expressed to her that Summer keeps putting Diane first over her and she does not like it. While this is happening, we see Daniel interrupts and asks what's going on. He offers to buy them both a drink. However, Phyllis decides to leave because she is pretty hurt. Phyllis then storms off and leaves Daniel and the summer. Daniel is curious as to what is going on. During today's episode, I learned that Jack had spent a lot of money to pay Jeremy for Diane's freedom. Remember, I was asking for a while. Um, I'm seeing that this is going to create an opening for Tucker to now come in and swoop up Jibo's finances. I can see where this is going. Back at the Abbott house, Diane thanks Kyle and Jack for helping her, but she has to sell her plan to Jeremy. She wants to move back to the suite at the hotel. Diane believes that there is nothing she can't do because she has tricked everyone before that she died. Stupid Jack and Kyle does not get the red flag. Diane then asks Jack and Kyle to trust her while she works her plan. Back at society, Danielle asks Summer what is going on. She tells Danielle what is happening and the fact that she did her, did not tell her mom that Diane had left town willingly and it wasn't as a result of her fault. Danielle agrees with Phyllis that Summer is somewhat choosing Diane over Phyllis and that her mom has every right to feel some type of way. Daniel says that he believes that Phyllis is right about Diane even though she called Jeremy because whether or not Jeremy would eventually have found Diane, Summer agrees that Jeremy would have found Diane with or without Phyllis's help. Then Summer starts to vent about how much she is pretty angry at Diane and not her mom, but she's not showing her mom that. Abby then says to Tucker that she cannot trust him because even though he claims he has changed at the ashram, he then linked up with Diane back in LA. We see at the Abbott house, Jack and 
Kyle discuss Summer and how this must be affecting her. Jack claims he has no sympathy for Phyllis. Kyle is worried that Summer is not showing him how she truly feels about the situation. We then see Tucker goes off to see Diane in the hotel. Then we see Summer admits that they are being hard on Phyllis, that is Jack and Kyle. She doesn't know how to tell Kyle that Diane is the problem. She has to put everyone, Diane has put everyone in danger and complicated her marriage. Then we see Tucker wants to know when Jeremy is leaving town, that's what he asks Diane. Tells Diane that she needs to get him out of town and she needs to make it happen. Tucker tells Diane that he has plans and Jeremy being in town will ruin his business. Diane then blames Tucker for setting things in motion for Jeremy to be in town in the first place. Back at Devon's, Abby says things are complicated, are uncomplicated and easy when she and Devon are together. Then we see them kiss and make love. We see Phyllis goes over to Crimson Light. She's trying to call Amanda to talk to her because she has no friends. Then we see Tucker overhears Phyllis and offers to be her ear for her to talk. Phyllis says Tucker is the last person she would want to talk to. Back at society, Summer reveals that she is just acting to support Diane to save her marriage. Whenever they're having these meetings for Diane and plans, she is just smiling. She is not happy about it. She calls Jack and Kyle delusional. Summer is pretty dumb because she says the only person she normally talks to is her mom. Now she can't tell her mom anything so she has no one to talk to. However, she is happy that Danielle is there. Danielle tells Summer she shouldn't be lying to her husband. She needs to tell Kyle the truth. Summer is worried that Kyle's blindness to Diane will affect their marriage. Back at the Abbott house, Jack foolishly tells Diane to rely on him. Then Diane kisses Jack on the cheek. We see Ashley walk in pretty annoyed and asks what is going on. Thanks for watching. Bye.